as we start talking about particle physics, this is a resource that I want to point out to you. It's a website of the particle data group at Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory, or pdg.lbl.gov. And the reason I want you to point out this source to you is, um, this is they published a review of particle physics. And I uh, have two of their publications here. Um, booklet, which is the condensed version, the latest one, and one that's uh, about four years old. And this is the unabridged, the complete um, version they publish, I think, every two years. Let me just uh, have this sent around. And I'm going to sound like an infomercial host for a little bit. How much do you think this cost? When you said it was free, right? $10? How much do you think that booklet cost? 10 bucks? Yeah, it's because they are completely free, and that's the only organization that would print it for them for free. <laughs> so this is a completely free resource, even the printed versions. So that, so you know, you are used to PDFs being free. Like PDFs are free a lot of places. So they actually publish this on a regular basis, and when it gets published, they mail it to you for free. And um, for, you know, I guess uh, the idea is that they don't want people abusing it. <laughs> but uh, like the only people who would use it are people who are interested in particle physics. And it's a small enough community that they are, um, at least the last two times I've, you know, if you ever have to pay, let me know. So they call it order, probably to discourage people who are doing this, you know, spammers. But when you order it, you will see that, I don't know, can I log in with mine? Don't know what address I used. Huh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't sound right, email address. Probably used my uh, Berkeley address, which would have been, okay, park, uh, oh, I, I know. This is what I used to use, um, byungq.park, at, not Peralta, berkeley.edu. Can you keep your Berkeley forever? Forever, yeah. No, that doesn't work. A, B, K, Park. Uh, I have multiple Berkeley addresses. They are all aliases. No, not that. Maybe B, K, Park. It's possible I'm just not remember. OK, I can't remember. But new users. <laughs> you can, oh, let me just try one thing. Maybe I switch it to my regular email address. Ah, OK. <laughs> so. So when you order it, uh, you will find, that at least last time, last two times I did it, I didn't have to pay anything. So I assume it's exact, still the same. So you create an account, you order it for free, and you know they don't ship it to you that quickly, but it eventually gets shipped to you for free. So I just want you to highlight that because I'm pretty sure you know they don't tell you anywhere on the website that it's free because they don't want people abusing it. <laughs> but uh, what I will tell you is that this is the best uh, resource for particle physics, both in terms of the quality, because they, it, this, is the, um, this is the standard reference for people work. They keep it updated because it's a standard reference. This, they compile all the published data and sort of publish one figure with the error bars. That's the established value for particle masses and whatnot. And um, they also send you hard copies for free, <laughs> hoping that it'll be not too many people. Um, so it used to be like a, a, like American, one of the, the APS journals that used to do it, but I guess they started not doing it for free anymore. That's why it's the Chinese <laughs> physics review that does it. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, so I wanted to point out the resource for those of you who are interested in particle physics, because this is the best resource out there. That handbook is one of the best resources out there, because if you need any of the particle methods, you just look that up there.